My name is uh, Luis Jalso, and uh, I am in seventh grade. I want to be a biochemist when I grow up. I want to be the first to go to college so uh, I can make my family proud and uh, because they couldn't have the chance, um, I could make their dream come true. Luis is the kind of kid that makes all of us in education want to do what we're doing. He's um, bright, he's intelligent, he's motivated. So my question is to you, um, shouldn't I have AVID too? Well, there's no question that Luis should have AVID in his school. If the goal of AVID is that all students can succeed better in school, and if we have data that shows that can happen, and it's happened over and over and over again, then we should have that opportunity to do better. I want our school to have AVID because it will enrich the students. So Luis is making a commitment above and beyond what many of his classmates probably are doing to say, I want a good education. That's what you're looking for. You want somebody who says, I want hope. I want a chance. I had already seen some of the data. I'd seen some of the results. I knew the teachers were extraordinarily excited about being a part of AVID. And I talked to the students and heard their stories, and clearly they'd gotten a lot out of it. When Luis gave his presentation today, and he asked me, shouldn't I have AVID? My immediate response was, Luis, without question, you deserve AVID. Without question, if he's allowed into AVID, he will benefit more from AVID than many of the people I've written about in this book. For three years, we've wanted to, to have AVID at our school. And Luis's presentation wrapped up <laughs> exactly the thoughts that we agree on and that we've been aiming for. When the program's implemented, I'll have so many more students who are able then to carry their motivation, to carry their dreams, to carry their determination forward in a successful path.